Hello and welcome to the overview of the final homework for the course. As you have seen several times, the project for this course is based on this problem domain. That we need to build an embedded device that will monitor shipping containers, specifically when the door to the container is opened or closed, the temperature and possibly the barometric pressure in the container, and the location of the container as it travels. All of this data must be stored locally and available upon request to be downloaded to a client application for display and analysis. So far, we have concentrated on making individual midlet applications that we combine into a single monolithic application in Lesson 4. However, in this lesson, Simon introduced the idea of inter midlet communication. So we can now think about dividing the code up into separate suites. In this proposed architecture, one suite is a system controller suite, which contains a midlet to process communication requests via IMC, intermidlet communication, and record any messages received in the local persistent store, the RMS. A separate client server midlet provides a way to read the RMS and send the data to a client via a socket connection. In this design, we can separate the sensors the door, the temperature, and GPS sensors into individual suites. This approach is advantageous for future upgrades and replacement of an individual sensor suite without impacting the rest of the application. In this architecture, events from the door are only sent when the door is opened, only asynchronously, and only when the door is open for a specific period of time. Temperature and GPS sensors are also asynchronous, and they send events, a temperature reading or a position and velocity reading, at regular intervals that are determined by the sensor code, not by the system controller. And finally, again, a client can make a request of the server, of the client server rather, to get data from the RMS over a well-known socket connection. This architecture is focused on separation of concerns. The system controller suite is only responsible for managing the RMS. Every event string received by the system controller is simply stored in the RMS. We could change the underlying message protocol without having to modify the system controller in any way. Likewise, by separating the sensors from the system controller, we can replace a sensor without having to completely rewrite the application. Let's see a demo of this design in action. Okay, I'm going to start by running the system controller. Right click and I'll select run. Okay, then I select system controller as the inlet that I wish to run. And the system controller has started up and now it's waiting for those connections, waiting for connections from the sensors for data that data events that it will then record into the RMS. So let's go ahead and start the uh, other sensors. So I'll start by running the door sensor and uh, then I'll follow it up with the GPS sensor and finally with the temperature sensor. And then let's go back and take a look at what's happening in the console. So here we're now seeing the door sensor is running, the GPS sensor is running, the temperature sensor is running. The two events, the GPS is reading every 15 seconds, the temperature is reading every 15 seconds. Now I'll, I'll hold down the button so I'm going to go ahead and hold the button down. And then what will happen is I'll get a door open event. Now if I go ahead and run reader midlet, we can see all the events. So I'll go ahead and run that project, or run that uh, midlet rather. So there were 11 events that were recorded at the time that the reader midlet ran. And here are the 11 events. So some GPS events, temperature event, GPS event, temperature event, so on. Here's my door event, record number nine. 
So now let me go ahead and run the server midlet and uh, plot those using the uh, visual client. Okay, here's visual client running. Now we'll click connect. I'll read the data. So now we're going to read all the data from the RMS. Takes a little while to bring over all the strings and process them. So these are all the events since I started my application. And here are all the positions I've taken. So basically, all the data that I've collected, I can now plot. And when I disconnect, basically I'll, I'll disconnect from the RMS and I can read more data at a later date. So here I click connect and read again. You'll see more temperature readings have been collected since the last time I read. This is going to plot all the way out to whatever the last reading was at 180 seconds. So what you're going to do in this homework is you are going to uh, build or you're going to write the code necessary for GPS sensor and temperature sensor to send their asynchronous messages to the system controller. That's the homework for part two of uh, this lesson. And then later you're going to work on actually having the, using the system controller two to automatically launch those applications so we don't have to go through that process of manually launching all that code. So again, if you run into any questions or problems, please post your messages or post your questions to the forum and we'll do our best to answer them. And good luck.